Hello guys, I'm back and this is the third tutorial and today we're going to tackle about enemies. Now, what are enemies? There are a lot of kinds of enemies. There are some enemies who shoot at you. There are some enemies which when you touch it, you die and it moves towards you. There are some enemies which um, explode and when you are caught by the explosion, you die as well. So, yeah. Since this is just your third tutorial, we're just gonna make a simple enemy. Um, the enemy which we're going, which we're going to make, is a simple, let's say, block with eyes, and it moves diagonally. And when it hits the wall, it goes in another direction, and it does like that. And when you touch it, you die. Okay. First things first. Um, I already created this parts of our, my character, the objects, and the room. So we're just going to make the enemy. So uh, let's make our enemy. Uh, sprite and me and sprite you want okay make a simple square like I said I'm gonna add eyes and uh simple eyes you know right hold on I want it to be perfect no, screw that. I, I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, let's add the eyes. Make it blue. That looks weird, but I don't care. Let's make it center. Right. And let's create our object. Now, um, um, okay. Sprite solid now I'm gonna introduce another event this is the create event and we will add actions to it basically the create event uh, executes the actions which you place here when that object is created so when the enemy is created we want it to move diagonally around the room so when on the create event we will drag in move fixed because we want it to move around so I don't recommend doing this I don't recommend it. You know why? Because when you do it across like this, then there's a tendency wherein the enemy will just move from up, down, up, down, up, down, and endlessly, and the game will be super easy. So, make this. Disable those north, east, west, and south, and just make the diagonal ones. And let's make it slower than the player so we can actually dodge them. So, speed 3. Now, we want the enemy to collide. I, we want the enemy to bounce when it collides with the wall. So add event collusion with the wall, and we want it to bounce, right? Um, we actually already have a com uh, a command there. So just drag this bounce, drag it, and then okay, and there we're done with the enemy. Now we want the character to die when it touches the enemy. So go to our character properties and add event collusion with enemy now when the character touches the enemy we want to notify the player that he or she has already lost so let's go to main 2 and go over to info and drag this display image I mean message and type whatever message you want to write there to notify that the player is already uh, I mean that person is already I mean that person already lost <laughs> okay so message game over it's nice. Game over. Now, we want to restart the game when that player touches the enemy. So, go over here and restart the game. Drag that. Okay, we're done. We're just going to place the enemies in the rooms. You can see here. Um, one would be super easy. So, let's just place, let's say, two. Okay. Now, we're done. It's time to test this. I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see, I'm already testing this game. Um, it may be a little laggy because of Bandicam, but um, as you can see, uh, I am moving the character and the enemies are moving. Now, uh, observe as when the enemy touches the walls, it bounces. As you can see, there we go. Now, let's try touching one of these and see what happens. Boom. Game over and just click OK and then the game will restart. Thank you for watching this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Bye.